Hi everyone and welcome to Boomdas Life Handmade. This is the place where I share with you all my DIYs, decor, recipes, sew projects, everything related to home in a budget. If you love such contents, do hit the subscribe button given below and the little bell icon so that you're notified each time I post a video. Today myself and Nicole North Garden, we welcome you all to the useful DIY challenge August 2019. And the theme is upcycled. We were supposed to pick an object, upcycle it and give it a new look, a new purpose in our home. So I want to thank Nicole North Garden for hosting this challenge this month with me. I want to thank all the participants who have brought their creative creations and have are sharing them with us today in useful DIY challenge and also the special subscriber who has sent her creation in form of a photograph to share it with us. I want to thank all the subscribers who support my channel and who show their love through their comments and likes and you encourage me to go on with this and I want to thank all the new visitors who have come to this challenge. Do visit the playlist, show your love to the channels and the playlist link is given in my description box. The playlist is an auto playlist. It should pick your videos if you have adhered to the rules of the challenge. If it isn't picking up your video, the link is given in the description box. Go to the link and add your video. If you have any problems adding your video to the playlist, contact me and I'll help you add your video to the playlist. So let's all enjoy and watch what everybody has come up with their upcycled DIY where they have upcycled a project and be inspired to do something for ourselves. This teapot belonged to my mother-in-law. It served her well for years and post-retirement sat comfortably in an almira with glass door looking outside at the room and occasional humans passing by its side. I asked my mother-in-law and brought it home, not for making tea, but solely for painting and using it in my decor. I use acrylic colors for such crafts. I neatly painted the lid and the handle black. The rest of the body I painted white. I added a jute rope to the handle for a rustic look just made a loop longer than the space to be covered then I tightly wound the rope around the handle till the desired length I pulled out the rope from the little loop portion peeping out Next, I pulled in the loose end of the rope by pulling the loose end of the loop. Hope it makes sense. It's better to watch. Else, one can just glue and secure the ends. Now, I am at the crossroads where I need to de decide the final design of my teapot. Number 1. This looks beautiful enough on its own. A very modern farmhouse style or number two add a label one can refer to my decoupage video tutorial where I share how I make and use my own labels for decoupage or number three if Raiden is more your style check out my video on hacking Raiden style of hand lettering I have a couple of Raiden dupes videos in my DIY and decor playlist or number four those who know me would wait for this option to turn up I tried using a shortcut by using permanent marker but I didn't like the result so back to traditional paint and brush sit back and enjoy the waves in the sea and lastly I added some clouds to the spout
I love my monochrome painted teapot with Jew embellished handle. This now fits in any decor style and color scheme. I hope you enjoyed my DIY and thank you Nicole North Garden, all participants and viewers. Till my next video, take care.